Hey guys, Scott here from Natural Athlete Online Coaching. Today we're going to look at the Eddie the Eagle, which is just a name for a hinge regression exercise. The reason why it's called Eddie the Eagle is as you're in position, you look like a ski jumper in the Olympics, okay? So if you've seen the Bulgarian goat bag screen, you'll see that's a loaded way to practice the hinge pattern movement. For people that really struggle with the upper body position when they do the Bulgarian goat bag swing and they, stent, they tend to cave in like this, and they can't seem to pull their chest forward, this is the exercise for you to practice, okay? This is really gonna help you with the upper body engagement. So all I'm gonna ask Kai to do is hold the plate like a, like a meerkat, and then she's gonna create that position around the back. She's gonna put her hands that way. So we'll probably do it from the back first so people can see. So as you can see, uh, and then go from the side, as you can see the plate's in that position, and then we're gonna to turn to the side. As you can see, look at her body, her upper body now. She's in a really strict position. So it's the kind of like Victorian sort of, we're gonna we're make making that big posture as, as we're sat tall there. Okay, so all she wants to do is squeeze her shoulder blades together. She's gonna to push the plate, plate down towards the floor. Uh, when people do this for the first time, they often like, can you push the plate away from your body? They often do this and, and create space between the body and, and the plate. You don't wanna do that. Keep, keep your forearms touching your body and really, really drive it down towards the floor. So when we push towards the floor, we get a lot of lat engagement. So if you're not aware of what the lat is, it's this wing muscle that travels down the side of your body. It acts as a huge stabilizer when we're doing um, compound movements like the squat and the remaining deadlift, okay? So she's in a really good upper body position. As I said in the Bulgarian goat bag swing video, if you haven't seen it, I always coach the hinge with a knee bend first, okay? Because it allows us to organize our body a little bit better in space. Because we've already taken control of the knee joint, and then all we need to focus on is the hips and shoulders and how they move, okay? So Kai's gonna perform a hinge for me. She's gonna go knees, and she's gonna go hips back and shoulders come over. She's gonna hold the bottom position. As you can see, she's got a little bit more range, range than the Bulgarian goat bag swing because the, the weight's not loaded at the front and there's nothing getting in the way. So that's another advantage of this one. When she's in that bottom position, she's in a great hinge. Her knees haven't moved forward at all. They've stayed in exactly the same position. She's in the midpoint of her foot, so she's nice and balanced. Her hips have gone back, her shoulders have come over the top, but she's still balanced. Her forearms are still touching her body and she's still pushing that plate back away from her, okay? She's gonna stand tall, making sure her legs are fully straight. She comes up the way she came down. She's gonna reset her body, making sure she's really pinching the shoulder blades together, squeezing her armpits and pushing that plate towards the floor. And she's gonna bend the knee, and then perform the hinge pattern movement again. And she's gonna stand tall. When you do this in the workout, you wanna do 10 to 15 reps. You're really just practicing the hinge pattern movement. You're making sure that your body understands that movement. You can look at something and think, oh, that's easy. Go try it yourself and see how easy it is. Teach your body how to remember how to do these things, okay? Your body has to learn and it has that muscle memory to be able to repeat these movements. Once you can do that, you can progress the Bulgarian goat bag swing once you've got that nice upper body posture. And once you've got good at that, then the remaining deadlift would be my recommendation after that. So that's how you learn how to hinge very well, the Eddie the Eagle drill. Legend, thank you. Can we do that together, ever? Yes.